Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with a fun mixer here. Jaspies Prospects, Rookies, and Stars 12-box baseball mixer, a random team break, and a wax party invite at the end. All cards ship, all teams are in. And one other note, I know we said hobby here. We priced it for hobby as well. We don't have any hobby. So we're replacing with a jumbo. So you get a slightly higher priced box, a couple extra autographs, you're welcome. All right, big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. Congrats to the people who won their spots in those blaster box breaks. Like I said, all 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Five and a three, eight times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. After eight, we got Brian down to Zach. Filler winners. Five and a three, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we got the M's, the Mariners, down to the Red Hot Rays. They've been, they've been hot pretty much all season. All right, Brian, you got the Mariners, John with the Royals and the Astros, Matthew with the Cubs, Tristan with the Diamondbacks, John with the Nats, David M with the Pirates, Mark with the Orioles, Tristan with the Angels, John with the White Sox, Matthew, you got the Marlins, John with the Brewers and the Blue Jays, David with the Giants, Ryan with the Rockies, John with the Guardians and Reds, James with the Tigers, Joe with the Cardinals, Matthew with the Yankees, David with the Twins, Scott, you got my Dodgers, Oliver with the Padres, John with the Rangers and A's, Martin with the Phillies, John with the Mets, Nancy with the Braves, John with the Red Sox, and Zach with the Tampa Bay Rays. Now trade at your own risk. Take a look at the different years that we have in this and think back to the rookie classes, the draft classes, and all that stuff. So think about that before you, you make deals. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any any risk takers, any traders, and then we'll have the break. So stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done, so this list right here remains the same. Thanks everybody for making it happen. Appreciate it. Now, we got a couple sapphire boxes and this nice gold rush vintage box right here. We're gonna save those till the end. We're gonna get everything else out of the way first. So let's slide those back here. Here's that 2021 box, not a hobby, a jumbo, like I mentioned. Let's get these bulky boxes out of the way here. I bet the shipping team can reuse these boxes too. So this was kind of a weird, they, they, uh, they put these first editions individually in these boxes. Actually, you know what? This is 2022. I'm going to do 2020 first. Okay, let me just get these boxes opened and out of the way. We'll kind of go in. Uh, we'll kind of we'll go chronologically until we get to those last three. So we'll go back in time to twenty twenty. Now, if I remember correctly, this was kind of in the middle of the pandemic, right? And I think there was like, there were some issues with production. Things were backed up or, or slowed down, something happened there. And they had to push back Bowman But to appease, to appease the masses, 
I want to say that they did a quick run of this first edition. So I think I, they did it for a couple years, right? Because obviously there's 2022, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to do that anymore. I think uh, I think that was at the Tops conference. I think they said that they were they were gonna they were not gonna do the first edition stuff anymore. Today is Thursday, which is not a heavy baseball day, but let's let's take a look at some of uh, let's take a look at some of the games here. All that all those wildfires in Canada making their way down that that smoke has been has been clogging up the East Coast. So this time today, the uh, the Diamondbacks Nationals game. Diamondbacks are in D.C. Now it's postponed. They're not going to make up that game until the end of the month, the 22nd of June, it looks like. The makeup game from yesterday, Tigers at Phillies. Phillies beat the Tigers 3-2. to two. Another makeup game from yesterday. They're doing a doubleheader in New York. White Sox beat the Yankees 6-5 to five in game one. Eloy Jimenez had a 416-foot home run. Go through some of the other scores in the next box. All right, all card ship, ladies and gentlemen. You know, there, I mean, there's going to be guys like Gunnar Henderson. So this is 2020. So we're finally starting to see... So yeah, some of these are going to be kind of interesting because, like, for example, you'll have first, first. They're Bowman first, first edition. But it's kind of cool because we're starting to see a lot of these players. Um, you know, a lot of these players up now. Jason Dominguez, paper, let me make myself some room here, yeah, Volt, is Volpe in this in 2020? We want, we want to look for these though, we want to see color parallels for some of the top tier guys. Here's Will Wilson to 150 for the Halos, that'll be for Tristan. Bobby Wood Jr.'s first first. But of course, we're looking for, we want it in this edition right here. Luis Gill to 75. For the Yankees, that'll be for Matthew. There's Logan Gilbert. Daniel Lynch to 150 for the Royals. That'll be for John. Another Jason Dominguez. We got a Robert Possum first first. For the A's, John. I think he was a big chase when this came out. We'll save one of these Volpes too. But we want to see see them in these foil editions here. It's just first edition, not his first first. This is Volpe's first first. See you later, Joe. Matthew and the Yankees. See you, man. Thanks. Have a good weekend. I'll see you next week. Yeah, Thursday. My Friday. Yeah, 
might as well save another bowl here. Okay. Another uh, another 2020 first edition. Down the Cub action on in the background. Uh, Giants swept the Rockies after a three-run ninth inning. I had small quarter unit plays on the Rockies the last two two days, and they were they were leading for both of those games. I want to say, and then just gave them up in the later innings. So that's on me. Um, Orioles beat the Brewers 6-3. to three. Gunnar Henderson cranks a two-run homer, which that ended up putting the uh, Orioles on top. The Rays keep winning. They beat the Twins 4-2. to two. Apparently Harold Ramirez with a home run, two-run jack. Clayton Kershaw stopping the skid. Nine strikeouts over seven shutout innings. A stopper, stopping the losing streak at four. Dodgers beat the Reds six zero. Stopping the bleeding. It's amazing. Kershaw at his age, what he's doing, he's pretty incredible. He almost got uh, he almost got tacos. Jack in the Box Tacos by himself. I think it's 10 strikeouts. Dodgers have 10 strikeouts. The next day, that participating Jack in the Box locations. Wait, is it Jumbo Jack or is it Tacos? I think it's Jumbo Jack, actually. Maybe with the perch of a drink? You can get a Jumbo Jack at participating locations? Oh, Dodgers had to have. They must have gotten 10 strikeouts at the end of the day, right? Yeah, they had 11 strikeouts. All right, next box. It's Christian Javier to 150 for the Astros. That'll be for John. Got some green coming up here. It's an autograph. The autographs are not common in these. It's Brennan Davis, 74 out of 99, green shimmer. First edition autograph. That's going to go to Matthew and the Cubs. All right, second round pick. We got Logan Gilbert, first edition to 150. Brian T with Seattle. Jordan Adams. Hi, Joe. Have a great weekend. All right, thanks, man. Do you mind leaving that gate open? Of course. Thank you.
There's an Alec Manoa. Hopefully he figures things out. And that's to 150. And I'll save a Miguel Vargas for the, for the Dodgers. A little Dodger bias. Scott Goodman, first first. Doman first first edition paper. We really want to look for that right there, but I'll save a couple for some of the more popular rookies. There is a first first, Joey Cantillo, 41 out of 75. It's for Oliver and the Padres. All right, Miguel Vargas. I didn't have to save that one at all. 35 out of 50. Nice. That's for uh, Scott and my Dodgers. I think there's some left, something left to be desired for his glove. I think he's still working on that, but the, the bat is for real. Very consistent, solid hitter. And there's Damon Jones to 150. Good plate discipline for Vargas. All right, let's do this super jumbo here. We're still in 2020. Sausage link packs out. And remember, all card, all cards ship. As a reminder. Just in the interest of time, I'm not going to, I know I was doing that in the first few boxes, but just in the interest of, interest of time, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sleeve those, uh, the key rookies paper-wise, but chrome-wise I will, obviously if it's numbered I will. But all cards will ship. Zach Veen supposed to is still still up there, I think on the Rockies prospect list, towards the top there. That's going to go to Ryan G in the Rocks. And behind Logan Gilbert is Jared Jones, Bowman first autograph, one ninety nine out of two fifty purple chrome autograph, Pittsburgh. That's going to be David M. Second round pick. Some more paper. All of this will ship. And back to some chrome stuff.
Bobby Miller, Bowman first paper, little uh, little Dodger bias there. Sorry. I mean, I guess uh, Noah Syndergaard. Ah, oh, you can leave it right there. Perfect. Thank you. Have a good night. With uh, Noah Syndergaard on the IL, there's uh, AJ Vukovic to 150. He might be on the IL for a little bit while he figures things out. And here's CJ Van Eck for the Blue Jays to 499. That means guys like Michael Grove for the Dodgers and Bobby Miller might get a few more starts. Even after Julio Urias comes back from the IL, I think those guys are going to get a few more starts in the back end of that rotation. And we got Holden Powell to 499. So that'll be interesting uh, to see how that all shapes up. Dodgers rotation. If Bobby Miller, who's had some really great starts, if he keeps that up, I wonder if there's going to be a chance for uh, is there going to be a chance for some Rookie of the Year consideration, or is it too late in the season? Pete Crow Armstrong, Bowman first. Chrome. It's Mets, it's still Mets edition there, that's for John. And the Heston Kirkstad, who's your former second overall pick, that is for Mark and the Orioles. And there's a Nick Garcia and an Emerson Hancock. We got Nick Garcia purple chrome to 250 for the Pirates, that'll be for David. And the Blue Wave autograph to 150, Emerson Hancock. Is he close? Seattle, that's going to be for Brian T. Sixth overall pick back in 2020. He's supposed to be pretty good. I'm not sure how, what his status is. I don't think he's called up. Some gold coming up here. It's a gold autograph. Here's a Joe Boyle speckle. Is that numbered? No, I don't think it's numbered. And it's a gold shimmer or gold wave. Cade Cavalli, 41 out of 50. That's for John and the Nationals. Going first autograph. That's strong. paper here. Everything will ship. And here's some purple paper to 250. Michael Toglia It's going to go to Ryan and the Rocks. There's another Kirkstad.
Did I go through, did I go through this pile here? I don't remember. <laughs> Set it on top of that box. I'm not sure if I went through it. Here's a Jordan Walker Bowman first. Chrome, nice. It's for Joe and the Cardinals. All right, almost done with this super. Golden Knights and the Panthers still tied in. Behind Nick Gonzalez is a Brewer, Garrett Mitchell. That is John with the Brew Crew. Nice Bowman first autograph. No, they're uh, one of their first round, their late first round pick. And we got Jim Glowenke, blue paper to 150. For my rivals, the Giants, that'll be for David M. Some Bobby Miller chrome for the Dodgers. Scott, that's the stuff we're looking for there. And O'Neill Cruz, just a regular one. Hope he's not a first. All right, that's a 2020 Super Jumbo box in the books. Um, I think we got, let's jump to 2021. I know we have 2021 over there, but we're gonna save that Sapphire box to the end. Golden Knights, Panthers still tied at one apiece. Who did the damage with the Dodgers today? Uh, not surprised. Freddie Freeman, two for two, couple walks, couple RBIs. David Peralta, look at that. Four for five for David Peralta, two RBIs. CT3 as well, two for five, an RBI, a home run. I need James Outman to get back on track. He went one for two, couple walks. All right, I'll take that. And Austin Barnes with an RBI as well. Nice. All right, so my Dodgers beat the Reds, shut them out 6 nothing. The Yankees are currently shutting out the White Sox in the second game of their doubleheader. They're up 3 nothing, middle of the seventh. Going into the bottom of the sixth, Mets are up 10-6 on the Braves. Everyone had the over on that game, right? Bottom of the eighth, Guardians leading the Red Sox 9-2. And going into the bottom of the eighth, Blue Jays are leading the Astros 3-2. Yeah, I thought he made a good first impression yesterday, Oliver. Johnny DeLuca, which I don't think he was, did he play today? No, he didn't. He was played yesterday. Um, yeah, I don't think he was really on my radar, but.
But I think he's been he was raking in uh in the minors, right? Kind of forced his way up. Let the kids play. Let's let's just throw them out there and see see who sticks. So once again, we're in 2021. This is still Blue Jays edition of Austin Martin. Save one of his papers there. And we got Brian Buelvis, Oakland A's. John with the A's. Yeah, I like a little competition too, Oliver. Give, give Outman a little push. Luis Garcia, that speckle is numbered to 299 for the Phillies. That'll be for Martin. Positional Promise, Wander Franco. That's a cool looking insert. And then we've got a an Atomic C.J. Abrams. Padres edition, that is for Oliver. And the Padres, big part of that uh, Juan Soto deal. The Atomic Refractors look pretty sharp. One soda right there. And we've got an Atomic Auto, 39 out of 100, Eddie Diaz. For Ryan G and the Rockies. Ryan and the Rocks. We got a cool Whit Merrifield to 399 lime paper. For the Royals, that will be for John. All right, Hunter Bishop to 499. 10th overall pick for the Giants, and it's going to go to David M. We got William Holmes. That'll be for the Halos. That's going to go to Tristan and the Angels. Fifth round pick. 
What's going on with Joe Adele? Is he, uh... Bustsville, maybe? It was O'Neill Cruz to four ninety nine for the Pirates. That'll be for David M. No Jackson Holidays just yet. Maximo Acosta. All right, so that was 2021. Bowman Jumbo instead of the hobby. Now let's jump to 2022. Bowman Draft first edition. Oh, Joe Adele got called up today. All right, maybe not Bustsville. Who went down? Cubs at Angels. Uh, starting soon. for the Panthers. Less than a minute left. Ugh, just missed. Vegas was able to kill the penalty, it looks like. Seven, six, five. There was a little flurry in front of the Vegas goal. I thought Florida would get one there. All right, got some Drew Baker blue. Those aren't numbered, right? No. Oh, that is numbered, sorry. To 150, there they are. The number's on the other side there. Tampa Bay, that's going to be for Zach. Jose Ramos. And we've got to 75, Jimmy Crooks the third. That's for the Cardinals. That's going to go to Joe. Joe Simone. Got uh, Brady House, sky blue, not number. Jay Allen. And we've got some red. That's out of five. That's Daniel Vasquez. Obviously, with the sheer number of cards that are printed. Getting an out of five, pretty rare. According to fan graphs, at the time, the Royals number 24 prospect. Nice. Kansas City, John Jackson with last spot mojo. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. That looks sharp. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. That really pops. And we got an Ellie Dela Cruz. That's not his Bowman first, but it's pretty hot right now.
And that'll be for the Reds. That's going to go to John Jackson as well. Ellie Dela Cruz with a monster home run against my Dodgers yesterday, against Noah Syndergaard yesterday. It's Jonathan Klaas to 150. There he is again. I mean, Ali Dela Cruz might have <laughs> might have sent Noah Syndergaard's season in the toilet with that. I put him on the IL the other day, yesterday, today. There's Daniel Cueva to 150 for the Rangers. John Jackson with Texas. A's Max Muncy. Your Donnie De Los, uh, De Los Santos to 50 for the Pirates, David, with the Buckos. Errol Vera to 150. Tristan with the Angels. Here's a Jackson Holiday, Bowman first. And a Landon Sims to 75. Landon Sims for Tristan. And Jackson Holiday, Bowman first. That's for Mark Russo and the O's, the no former number one overall pick. Try to find some. Uh, let's try to find some color there for Jackson Holiday. That's what we're looking for. Ooh, nice. So Ellie Dela Cruz, who hit that homer 458 feet off of Noah Syndergaard to right center, landed I think in like either the last row or the second to last row, something like that. It was a shot. I think a bunch of kids got it. it looked like. Maybe teenagers or college age kids or something like that. They were at the game. And so Oliver said, reporting back that the kid that caught the ball got autographed baseballs for him and his friends, autoed picks for him and his friends, an autographed bat, autographed hat, and just a great picture with L.A. Dela Cruz. Nice. That's a good haul. I think that's a fair haul. And clout, right? That moment will be on YouTube forever. And you'll be like, that's me. Look at him, looking out for his buddies too. Yeah, you got a great story, especially if Ellie De La Cruz turns out to be what a lot of people think he's gonna be. Right? We're talking superstar, multiple all-stars, possible MVPs. You put all that together, you know, savior of the Cincinnati Reds. If he takes them deep into a playoffs, wins, I mean, who knows? Go down the line. That'll be a great story to tell. Hey, I caught his first home run. His, his first of 500. I caught, I caught, I caught number one. Is he wearing number 44? All are saying a couple of Reds greats wear 44. Eric Davis, Adam Dunn. It's an important number. We got Robert Moore for the uh, Brew Crew to 150. 
I wonder, Oliver, if, and I guess to everybody as well, but since Oliver brought it up, you think the, like, the autograph pictures and bats and stuff that they get, do you think that that's authenticated as well? Because there is a, at every baseball stadium, I think there's an MLB authenticator on site. Do you think they get all that authenticated? Kevin Parada to 150. There's Ricardo Cabrera for the Reds to 75. For John. Some more color hiding here. It's some orange. It's Jason Dominguez orange. 11 out of 25. That's not his Bowman first, but still nice. For the Yankees, Matthew Shira. Walter Ford to 50. That's for the Mariners. Brian T. Victor Acosta for the Reds to 150. Another red for John. And we got Shailen Polanco to 75 for the Pirates. That's for David. Another 2022 Bowman Draft, first edition box. Then we'll get into 2022 Bowman. Then a couple Sapphires, and we'll close out with that uh, that Gold Rush box. Which could have something incredibly interesting in it. Stick around for that. We're almost there. Golden Knights with the gold. goals in his last wow. near post in the corner That goal must look like a soccer goal to him. Well, Four fifty left in the second period. Gold Knights up.
All right, the last first edition box. Good luck looking for those foil parallels like that. There's Benny Montgomery to 150 for Ryan and the Rocks. To 150. I want to see some of those top tier prospects here in these parallels. There's Robbie Snelling to 75 for Oliver and the Padres. 39th overall pick, first rounder. Christian Hernandez to 75. Uh, even the uh, even the Stanley Cup broadcast talking about all the insanity going on in the golf world. A lot of uh, a lot of lawyers. Like proper lawyers on Twitter suggesting that uh, nice Ivan Melendez to 50, Tristan with the Diamondbacks, that that deal might not go through. Everyone's talking about that that deal between the PIF and the PGA. They're talking as if it's a foregone conclusion, but it might not pass the uh, the antitrust. Smell test. The DOJ might have something to say about that. Here's Alex De Jesus to 150. Although I feel like sports, you know, the NBA and the ABA merged, the NFL and the AFL merged. You know, so I think Major League Baseball has always enjoyed the the antitrust uh, exemptions. I think it's a little different for sports than it is with other entities. Antitrust, I think one of the more trickier, uh, trickier arms of the legal, of the legal field. This is Ignacio Alvarez, blue to 150 for Nancy and the Braves. So we'll see what happens. You know who's winning in all of this. Here's 2022 Bowman. Is Netflix and the Full Swing Show. That golf show that, that debuted this earlier this year. I think I saw, um, I think Nick sent me a tweet of, I think it was Nick or his brother, sent me a tweet of uh, the Full Swing producer confirming, yeah, you, you bet cameras were rolling when all of this stuff went down. You know, whoever they were, whatever golfers they were following, whoever they were following. So that's going to be a fun episode. Episodes. Season two is going to be pretty great. And there's a couple, there's two more two more majors to go. The U.S. Open here in L.A. Not this weekend, but next weekend. Then the Open Championship in Liverpool, England. Then there'll be, I'm sure there'll be lots of news about how how uh, live golfers are going to be reinstated if you know if they can be. I think they are. That's the whole point of this, right? If they can be uh, reinstated back to the PGA Tour. Now, as it stands now, Liv is saying that hey, all things operations are are uh, are normal. So we'll see what happens. 
remember, it's not technically a merger between PJ Tour and Lyft. This is a partnership with PIF and the PJ Tour. They're going to create a whole new entity. Under which is the PGA Tour, the European Tour, but uh, not necessarily live. Although the guys bankrolling live are the ones. So I don't know. I, I mean, it's looking like they were. PIF was just angling to, angling for what happened. This. And what they do with live, I don't know. They said they're going to evaluate. All right, next box. It'll be. It's going to be. It's going to be interesting to. Uh, as a big golf fan myself, it'll be interesting to see how all the different storylines play out. There's one auto a box in yet. We're expecting one auto out of here. Who is it gonna be? A big name, I hope. Big name, big name. We got a Jeter down to 99. To 399, that is. For Boston. John with that one. Here down, it's not working out for, for the Red Sox. Jeremy Vargas, purple chrome to 250 for the Brewers. That's going to be for John. And there's your wow, there's your autograph. What a time to get this. 242 out of 299. Speckle Auto, Bowman first Speckle Auto, Ellie Dela Cruz. Looks like he is, uh, so far, just just a short two games into his career. Just a few games into his career. Sounds like he is, thus far, the real deal. Did he play today? He did. Went one for four, a few strikeouts. He was facing Clayton Kershaw. I'll cut him some slack. That is nice. That is John Jackson who won a spot in this break from a filler, got randomized the Reds, gets the Ellie Dela Cruz auto. I was saying, hey, let's see a nice one. We got it. Strong. Strong like Ellie Dela Cruz. Paid for the break, John says. Congrats, man. This is why we play the game. Thanks for getting in. Luis Robert Purple, paper, is going to go to John as well and the White Sox.
And there's a nice high five futures insert, Jordan Walker to 150. And that's for Joe Simone. It's a $2,000 card, John, saying nice. Might be even more if it grades out nicely. Might be even more if Feli De La Cruz continues to finish the season strong. I don't think he's going down, right? I, th I think they're keeping him up. Might be even more if uh, ends up being Rookie of the Year. I think, he'd still be able, I think he'd still qualify for it, right? He'd probably get enough at-bats in to qualify by the end of the season. All right, this is the last of the base heavy stuff. We got three boxes left after this box. We got some couple boxes of Sapphire, which is always nice. And that Gold Rush, Genesis. That should be a really nice way to finish this break. This break also taking much longer than I thought it would. Hopefully my food is, won't be that cold. Hey, John, super thanks for you getting into our breaks. You know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'm glad you, uh, you ventured with us. Hopefully more hits like that to come in the future. Now, unless you need, unless you need the money, I would think that that's gotta be a hold, right? You gotta hold on to that. You gotta grade it and hold. And then, you know, Put it in a safe place for a while. And hopefully he becomes a superstar. Number eight Reds prospect at the time. Fast rising teenager with all five tools. He's got speed, he's got power. What timing too, right? Just, just made his debut. Nice, John's a big PSA grader. We'll send, mo send it and most of this break, great. Keep us posted on, on how, uh, how some of these cards turn out. And here's the other autograph, Jason Santana, 172 out of 250 purple chrome autograph for the Cubbies. Matthew Shira with the Cubs. Got Oralvis Martinez to 299, Speckle, Blue Jays, John, Logan, what's up?
There's a Bobby Wood Jr. Ray Wave. Or Lava, actually. This is Lava to $3.99 for the Royals. And Bowman First Paper, Ellie Dela Cruz, the man of the hour. 6'2, 150. I think he's taller than 6'2, isn't he? Nice yeah, ML, MLB or ESPN has him listed at 6'5, 200. Not 6'2, 150. Unless he's grown since this this set I mean I guess he's he's a youngster right so I guess still a growing boy Done with the bulky stuff. Let's get into some. Go back in time again to 2021 Bowman Draft Sapphire Edition. Love the Sapphire stuff. I think Sapphire has not as good at sort of card valuations as much as some of the other guys here at Jaspies, but I want to say Sapphire still retained its secondary market value pretty well. I mean, when it first came out, it was it was real gangbusters, but for almost every card, I feel like no matter who it was, was selling for. Five, ten bucks a pop, but I think once prices sort of settled and normalized, I think it's still doing well. Here's Kyle Manzardo to 50 for the Rays. That'll be for Zach. Wow. Joe Adele just homered, says Eric Houston. And here I was talking about if he was going to be a bust or not. He heard me. He was like... No way, Joe Jaspi. I'll show you. Here's Austin Martin, 16 out of 99. Twins edition going to David. All right, now let's get into some Topps Chrome Sapphire. Yeah, Austin. Awesome. What's uh, what's what's the latest on Austin Martin's progress to the majors? I think Skull is a Twins guy, Minnesota sports guy. Hitting well, still developing some power. Got it. How many years? How much? He was drafted in 2020 out of college, right? Because he was 2019 first team All SEC. So played often against Bo Bichette in high school. Says the back of the baseball card. He's a college guy. He should be. Shouldn't be too far away. We got Carlos Santana for the Royals. 
That's to 50. Got some, is that some orange coming up? Yeah, future stars, Trevor Larnack to 25. I like the way the orange looks. Nice old jaspy orange shade there. That's for David M. and the Twins. We got Nick Gordon, 41 out of 50. Another twin for David. Bruhan and Future Stars Kalanick. All right. Nice. Now, look at this. Gold Rush Genesis Baseball. One graded vintage baseball card per box. This is some of what you could possibly get out of here. Good luck, everybody. It's graded. I think most of these are graded. Let's see if I could. All right. It's going to be. It's going to be. Nice, Larry Doby, old Cleveland Indian from 1954, Topps Baseball, PSA 6. Ooh. That's awesome. I mean, 6 is not bad for a 1954, for a 1954 card. Who's got Cleveland? They're the Guardians now. John Jackson. There you go, John. Hell of a break for you, man. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was your Jaspies Prospects Rookies and Stars 12-box baseball mixer. This also has a wax party invite attached to it. Let's give that away, and then we'll do a quick little recap. Let's gather everybody's names 1 through 30, new dice, new list, and let's roll it and randomize it. 5 and a 5, 10 the hard way. Name on top after 10. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After 10. Fingers crossed. Good luck, everybody. A lot of sad faces here. Two through 30 is going to be sad. David, very close, but not quite. We'll get him next time. But after 10, the happy person is John Jackson. Ooh, what a break for you, John. Now you got, you got a wax party invite, chance to get a lot of nice wax once we, once we send out all those invites. And, a, and an excellent break for you as well. You got, the, you got the Larry Doby graded card. All card ships. I'm sure you'll get a bunch of a stack of stuff in the mail. There's the out of five. Nice autograph, some nice color, some nice players. And of course, that Ellie Della Cruz. It's a great time to get this. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next mixer. Bye-bye.